Creating a healthy lawn all starts with the soil and there are three basic methods that can be used to prepare the soil. Choosing the correct method depends on budget and the condition of the soil to begin with. First you must kill any existing grass or weeds with glyphosate. If you are lucky enough to have good soil, then simply hire a subcontractor with a tractor rotary hoe, or hire a small one from a rental company to loosen the soil bed to at least 100 millimetres and a maximum of 200 millimetres. Then rake out any dead foliage if necessary and level the ground. If the soil is of clay type or sandy type or relatively poor in any other ways, buy in some organic soil conditioner. Use at least two cubic metres per 100 square metres. Spread this over the soil. If it is a clay type, use gypsum as well. Use a rotary hoe to mix this well into the ground and then rake the ground smooth. Hiring a skid steer to do the work is another method. If you prefer, you can get a contractor to do the prep work. This makes life easier. Make sure the operator rips the existing soil well first, loosening the base. A hard compacted subsoil is the last thing a lawn needs. Then order seven cubic metres of good quality organic soil blend per 100 square metres of ground. Make sure it has a decent amount of organics in it. Spread this with a skid steer, making sure the finish is smooth. In some areas, you may need to rake smooth with the back or front of the rake. Turf is the best and safest way to install a lawn. Laying turf is really easy. Simply lay one roll around the outside and then fill in the area with turf, all going one way. Patch up any gaps, roll the lawn if you can, and water in well. On hot days, water the turf in sections as you lay it. Don't fertilise till a month after the turf is laid. University research proves that the turf receives no benefit from fertiliser until a month after laying. Then use a good slow release type. For the first two weeks, the lawn cannot dry out. On a hot day in summer, that may mean watering three times per day, or on a milder day, once per day. After two weeks, watering can often be reduced to every second or third day. Now for more detailed advice, download the PDF on preparing, laying and maintaining a new lawn.